Is he on? Okay. You need to drop the volume because of the pull upstairs. Please. So it doesn't matter how far you've gone. Jesus so, is your friend. Always calling you back to him. So you're just getting up to where? Because, because he lives, yes. I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. And yes, I know. No, he holds my future. Cause he won him money. Liar. He want him money. He want him money. Lie love. He want him money.
once again, good morning and welcome to the time of prayer. Thank you for joining this time of prayer, the next level prayer. If it is your first time of joining us, you're welcome for a glorious time of divine encounter with the Holy Spirit. You're welcome for a glorious time of divine encounter with the Holy Spirit. Um, hallelujah. I want to thank, uh, I just want to thank all of you also that take out time and you invite your friends to do it. Um, I want to thank people like Nene Johnson, all of you that just will take out time to invite your friends for this next level prayer. It's always so life-changing for us. Um, this morning, I want to encourage you. We're going to pray specifically for singles. We're going to pray specifically for marriages. And what am I believing God for? I'm believing God for people that have been delayed as a single person. That in the name of Jesus Christ, something will start this month. I'm not saying you get married this month, but something will start that will create a life into a marriage. I want to pray for those that their marriage are struggling. Maybe it's the wife that is struggling. Maybe it's the husband that is not happy. See, the Bible makes us know something. And what does it know? When Joseph was struggling about accepting Mary, there was an interception. There was an interruption by the angel of God. And that changed everything completely. That changed everything completely. As we prayed this morning, there will be interventions. There will be interruptions by the power of of the Holy Spirit, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, um, Abid Holy, for coming online. Thank you, Adenike, um, Ijeoma. Thank you, good luck for coming online. Thank you, good lambs. Thank you, I am Veronica Bostagen, Monotams. Thank you, all of you, for coming online. Wonderful. I want to ask you now, just take up your phones, you know, just take up your phones and go and, you know, um, get your friends, call them and say they should join us right now. All of you joining from Zimbabwe, all of you joining from South Africa, from the UK, from Australia, from Canada, you are all welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. If you want to go and get your friends, some of them are forgotten, some of them are sleeping off, you might just want to get off the meeting for one or two minutes, pick up your phone and call them and say, friend, this time for you to join. And they can join, some of them can join on Facebook, some of them can join on um, um, YouTube. The, the YouTube is very, very sharp and clear, you know, Facebook, YouTube, and if they are mindful of their audio or they're in transition. They can join a mixed error, which is strictly audio. Praise the Lord. We're going to start from a place of thanksgiving. There's going to be some music in the background. We're going to start from the place of thanksgiving and begin to thank and praise the Lord for he is good and his mercies endures forevermore. We're going to thank from the place of thanksgiving for he is good and his mercies endure forevermore. Let's go ahead and bless and worship and praise his holy name this morning. Let's go ahead and worship. And praise his holy name this morning. Father, we worship you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we bless your holy name. And the Lebecolor of the Shaket and Eredos, Skebrote, some Bracte, some Bronte, some Bracte, some Bronte, some Bracte, a bracket, O Shepracto, some Baneke Telemas. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let's go ahead and thank Him for answered prayers. Let's go ahead and thank Him for answered prayers. Our God answered prayers. Let's go ahead and thank Him for the powerful testimonies that have been coming out from this platform. Let's go ahead and thank Him for the powerful testimony you've been sharing. Go ahead and thank Him. It's coming to the end of another week. Let's go ahead and thank Him for life and health and joy jeni kataju kotora de kete unte pantore mahasatala ekia to jela tobra ke zuzu preketongla zuzonia ekia jomataya the lord that does not disappoint our god that is faithful our god that is kind our god that is holy our god that is just we lift up your name this morning and we lift up our ebenezer unto you and say thank you thank you and thank you Allah, again thank you for every answer prayers thank you for turning barren people into food for people. Thank you for turning people that were struggling into people that tried it. Thank you for the countless numbers of divine provision, of, the, of jobs, of promotions, of locations. Thank you for the numerous testimonies of healing of people that were barren getting pregnant. Thank you for various sins that be disappearing. Thank you for loves and God that disappearing. You are healing heart conditions. You are helping deaf ears here, blind eyes see all across the world. We call and give you the glory this morning. 
Bala Maziza Bata. Thank you for sorting out people. We well, thank you for your mighty hand of favor. We well, thank you for your mighty hand of favor. Je katazu zuti keteke tukuro katago. En batiso mengs to prake zolabata. En la duash katagra tuba. En la duash katarato zizai. Hexto jibro kondora. Hexto japra keton zebra. Le grito paporo tolo. En mono doro seketele jine ketele gratalaga. Our God that does not fail. Our God that does not disappoint. Our God that is not a man. We we'll lift up our hands towards you and we we'll lift up our Ebenezer. Shagapora hegobraba. Atwashke shkofakate. Nekanjume kirato. Hexto sapali zus eparato. Hekritongu papani zuse. Hexto jeni kritondalo. Hebronta krate so krataka. Hembarati no poro to 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 to. Rukite kupuru katate. Hexto shkapa. Seekan tegai. Hacks to guaidia. Hacks to guandia kwatia papa. A quarty sob lecate, extusha capa botali, a latosina teclo, a brudicate on the manuke, and the parandi exte, a quarty shaw, a practice sosa, a practice sangatia, extocaton glico, indomat sandeda, ambolo sombombo, uro de catengo, ra intoco, paletto pepene, nine pepene, palesto pepe, ronin in the palos de canjo mango par. Ombro kuje mon brute ke le bronte ke ile bruti ke mba 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 monte ka mane shapa aloska ile poro te kombolo roba shombra de ile mashwa ke brakata onta li bronta kuma ile mon shabronde ele kuara taske le monte kre to mon shabragada e brati ke jande he in Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus mighty name we pray glory to God. Glory to God. Just before we start praying, I want to share some testimonies with you. And listen, as I share these testimonies with you, the purpose of sharing these testimonies is that your faith can catch fire. Right anywhere you are, see my faith catch fire. I, I want your faith to catch fire. What God does for one, He will do for another. God is not, God doesn't have favor. Right? This is what the Bible says it. He said, God is not a respect of person what it does for one he will do for another so when you hear this testimony don't condemn me yourself and say what is my own say the fact that God has done it for one person is the reason why I will do it for another person I want to read you some testimonies glory to God very powerful testimony powerful and fresh praise God this testimony just came in Glory to God. Huh. <laughs> Look at this. this uh, if, if I, I'm just seeing this. I'm just seeing this. This lady said, Good morning, Pastor B. We have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. We have been part of the morning prayers for some months now. Surprisingly, myself and my wife could not explain how we missed the prayers in August. But a lady testified with images of answered prayers how she got pregnant. He said, Pastor, I keyed into that testimony. This is what is what. He said, boom. He said, my wife did a test and she's positive. I'm coming back to give more testimonies because God has started. Somebody say hallelujah. He said, he said boom. See, he had a testimony. This testimony came in. I was trying to share that one with you. This testimony came in literally 20 minutes ago to my phone. He said he had a testimony, and the testimony stirred up his own testimony. Hallelujah. He, the testimony stirred up his own testimony. This is another powerful testimony. This lady said, uh, glory to God. Uh, he said, Pastor Blagy, I'm so grateful to God for you. I have been reading, he said, I have been reading the testimonies on your page, and I told God that I would also testify. Let, let me hear you say anywhere you are. Say, I will also testify. You need to say it with conviction. Say, I will also testify. You need to say it one more time. Say, in the name of Jesus, I will not just testify. My testimony will be next. He said, I participated for the communion. He said, um, and the word of prophecy came forth and said, chest pain is being healed. On healing wood is being healed. He said, Pastor, I used to have a sudden chest pain that sometimes would just arrest me. He said, right now, I feel it no more. Secondly, I, when I defecate, it's, I stand to do it. And I hold my bomb and scream. 
He's he said, because it's always as if there's cutting through the linens of my anus. No matter how soft the feces is. He said, blood is always coming out due to the sharp cuts in my anus. He said, I always defecate with blood. Can you imagine? Sometimes you don't even know what God has done for you. This devil is just a stupid devil. I'm telling you. He said, but after the communion that day, he said, I, I've been, he said, after the communion, I have walked it was worked on. <laughs> I love the way she, the person said it. He said, I felt it was worked on internally. Today I sat on the toilet seat and everything went so, so smoothly. No more cut, no more pain, no more blood. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. This lady said the testimony. He said, This one sent it yesterday, yesterday at 9 54 p.m. He said, Good evening, Pastor. Trust this testimony, trust this meets you well. In the month of September, God has been faithful. He said, my husband helped, which was a concern. He did a test, and the result came out good. Secondly, you prophesied on the 9th of September, and said, you prophesied, and said yesterday, that's on the 9th of September, and yesterday, that someone has ovarian cysts. He said, pastor, just, 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 I went to the doctor. The doctor smiled at me, and said, the cysts are no more. He said, the cysts are no more. He said, this is the first time in two years I have been frequently visiting the hospital without getting negative reports. He said, I have come to return all the glory to God. He said, I've come to return all the glory to God. He said, I've come to return all the glory to God. If you have a testimony, you must cultivate the habit of returning, send your testimony to return the glory to God. Today, we are going to pray. Glory to God. How was the prayer? The Lord that did their own perfect my testimony. Hallelujah. That's the first prayer. Lord, in the name of Jesus, you are not a partial God. Ah, look at this lady for two years. Some of you, you've been battling for five years. You've been battling for seven years. Lord, you that you perfected this lady's testimony. She went back and the report had changed. I don't know where you want a different report from. Maybe it's from the hospital. Maybe it's from the bank. Maybe it's from your job. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, perfect my testimony. Let's go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let my testimony be perfected. Some of you, it has begun. It just remains a little. I declare that your testimonies have been perfected when it comes to your marriage, when it comes to your health, when it comes to your job, they have been perfected by the power of the Holy Ghost. Zopale Korobo 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 Yet to Kere de Lebrocotonini and Bricata and Brocotos Gasca as Cuprocotos Susos and Brocotos Cata, your protone, Meno Copalos of the Lebada. The Bible says he's the beginning and the end, and he's the beginning and the finisher of our faith. He said he that has begun the good thing, he will also finish it. Jaletora Manecoraza, Manecora Baradazataya, Atore Bashataya. I'm praying that your marital testimony is here to be concluded. That your job testimony is to be concluded. You have heard others testify. This time around, you are testifying by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. We're going, to, we're going farther into prayer today. We're going farther into prayer today. And listen to me, everyone. As we go farther into prayer today, I just want to tell you, I want to start with the single people. Hey, you know what the Bible says? The Bible says, and none shall lack his mate. It says none. I know that you say, I'm 38. Will I find marriage? The Bible says in Genesis, when God made them, he made them male and female. Animals don't look for spouse. Talk less of human being. Animals don't look for spouse. Talk less of human being. Listen to me. Ruth had lost her husband, a widow. 
People will have said that, oh, a widow can never have a husband again. But because of her heart, sorry, um, yes, because of her heart towards Naomi, the mother-in-law, God sorted her out. This is the first prayer, and it's a prayer of thanksgiving. What's the prayer of thanksgiving? Father, I thank you because maritally you have sorted me out. Why? It says in the book of Isaiah chapter 34 verse 16, he said, none shall what? None shall, he says, he said, none shall lose his own mate. He, you, have, you have sorted me out. You have sorted me out. You have sorted me out. Everywhere you are, go ahead and pray. Say, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you. Because when you made me, you made me a partner. Lord, you have sorted me out. As a single person, you have sorted me out. You have sorted me out maritally. You have sorted me out maritally. Oh, my shataya. I'm not looking for what is not meant to be there. I'm looking for what is available in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Listen to me. <laughs> the, the he, Bible says, he that, obtain, he that finds a wife, obtain it favor from the Lord. Listen to me. It's not you that design marriage, so you can't be the one to sort it out. God himself said, it's not good for man to be alone. You know I'm saying this to you? The reason is simple. If you do not know that God has sorted you out, when you're praying this morning, it will be from a place of, Father, please give me somebody. We are not saying, God, give me somebody. You are saying that, Lord, when you made me, when you made man in Genesis 1, it was male and female. You knew you were the one that put the desire for marriage in my heart. You have sorted me out. So you are going to open up your mouth. This time around, you are going to call the name of Jesus Christ three times and say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, I know I'm so sorted concerning my marital destiny i know i'm sorted concerning my marital partner i know i'm sorted i come to you in thanksgiving today i've not come to beg i've not come to plead i've come to thank you because it's done i'm coming from a place of thanksgiving go ahead and call the name of jesus christ three times and begin to thank him Rakate in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the matchless and powerful name of jesus I'm praying for every single person here that the revelation of provision of the life of will begin to flood their minds in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We're thanking you. I'm thanking you. Begin to thank him. I'm sorted as a man. I'm sorted as a Woman, I'm sorted. Japato kapara koto para kata. Ebrukuti seketo koba. Ebrukuto rukunte kendo kuta kore tabrukuta. Ebrukutungo lukunde kaya. Iketwa keshka poko. Ekrute keto kaboro kete. Zus empataya. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says none shall lack a meat. We are still praying. Ha. Ah. Listen to me, some of you are married on this call. It's okay. You have someone that is single in your life that you can use this prayer for. Because after the single, we'll move to the married prayer. And the married prayer is <laughs> his bloody. Hallelujah. It's, it's a bombastic, <laughs> it's bombastic in nature. All the single people are going to pray. And this prayer, as you pray, you will lay your hands upon yourself. Because this prayer, you lay your hands upon yourself. And what are you going to pray against, against single people? I want to calm down so I can explain the prayer to you. Uh, the woman was lacked and suffered. Meanwhile, there was a pot of oil in her house. Why couldn't she see the pot of oil? The reason was simple. What was the simple reason? She was had scarcity mentality. She thought she had nothing. A lot of men and women have scarcity mentality. What do I mean by that? When you talk to men, why are you not married? They are no responsible. They are no responsible girls. All the girls are useless. When you talk to men, why are you not married? They are no responsible men. All the men are useless. Everybody seems that to be the scarcity. And let me tell you something. The more you think scarcity, the more scarcity you have. What you are going to pray for is that, Lord, in the name of Jesus, put your hands. If you can put one hand on your chest, you can put the other on your head. If it's convenient, you are going to pray. The root of scarcity mentality, as if 
it pertains to relationship, as it pertains to a life career, in the name of Jesus Christ, let that root be rooted out of my life. The root of scarcity mentality. All of you that living in London, in Johannesburg, outside of the place, and say the many are not responsible. It does not matter where you are. God will bring you your spouse. The same way God brought Boaz. The same way God brought Boaz. Every scarcity mentality has pertained in my relationship. We commence such mentality to begin to dry up. Let the word of God rise up stronger. In Jesus Remember, pray. Jaina Bakuri Mazaha. Ya Palani. Listen to me. Until the mentality changes, the outside will not change. As we are praying this morning, listen to me. You will stop saying there are no responsible men. You will stop saying no one wants to marry me. You will start saying I'm attracting quality people. Say it. Say in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm attracting quality men. I'm attracting quality women. People that will partner and support my vision. People that will, will, will commit together to achieve vision. I'm attracting them. When Abraham was going to die, he called the oldest servant in his house. He said, I want to take a wife for my son, Isaac. And he told me, go to my father's house and pick a wife for him there. Hey, what did he say? <laughs> when the man got there, what was the prayer request? It was very simple. His, when the man got there, he said, the God of my father, a, the God of my master, Abraham, he began to pray that God would direct his step. Hallelujah. That God would direct his step. All the single people you are going to pray. The Bible says the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. You, in the name of Jesus Christ, I receive grace and insight to be at the right place, at the right time, in the right conversation, in the right space, on the right platform, to be found or to find, to be found or to find. I receive it. Latene, let me tell you something. One brother testified. He said, I've been praying for a life partner. He said, my friend was going to get wedded. He said, as I wore my tie, he said, the Holy Ghost said, be kind to the cheap price meat. She had never even met her before. Long and short of the story, that became his wife. Glory to God. That became his wife. One of my own aunties, this personal story. We were in traffic, and I think I was in the car that day. I was young. We were in traffic. And a policeman stopped us and literally began to harass the driver. My auntie, <laughs> this is a funny testimony, but this is how God can work. My auntie got down, got very angry because the policeman was out to really exploit us. Out of our hunger, mistakenly slapped the policeman. When he said so, we said we are finished. But guess what? That slap sent the man into love. And they married afterwards. I'm only saying that. The situation and circumstances. You are man. You are trying to figure out at 38. Because all married me. That's the problem. Because you cannot go beyond your age. You can't go beyond your age. The Bible says, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Is there anything too hard? So, you're saying, you know, because if you do this, we are talking about the power of God. Please, don't limit God today. What is a prayer? Lord, all that means to places where I will find and be found. Lord, all that means to places. I receive sensitivity. I 
whole satire. The reason why is that your partner can be next door to you and you will not see it because eyes have been blinded. The Bible says that the mother of Ishmael, Hagar, was starving of water and water was by her side until God opened her eyes. Until God opened my eyes. Lord, open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes to see. Open my eyes to see. All that my steps, Lord, to a sekiavo, ex to vino porute, ex to baracatora, ex to gene, rukita la mashopana, emano, 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 balute que le poroto poroto para, e protecajo, e procotona, e procotone, ex to cajona, sedata, sedata, zaporo boloboro. In Jesus' name we pray. Hey, what's the gonna pray? Baroque in the most And this is the last prayer point for this is the last prayer point for people that are single. We are going to move to those that are dating, those that have experienced heartbreak, those that are married. Those that are married is your prayer point. Well, I'm going to pray. All of you that are single, you need to pray this prayer point for the marriage ahead of time when I begin it. This is what I pray for single people. Oh, Ramane Koto Ramane. We are going to pray for militating forces. At Mata. I know people. I, I told you a story a while ago. I don't know if you remember. I said there was a time, this was about 15 or 20 years ago. I went to preach in a redeemed church. And when I finished preaching, the pastor brought all the workers because they've tried to deliver the lady several times, but there was no improvement in her condition. She was a fervent Christian girl, but she was totally oppressed of the devil. It is my conviction that as a child of God, you cannot be possessed because light and darkness cannot stay in the same place. But a child of God can be oppressed because oppression is from the outside. In fact, I forgot to read the testimony to you. Someone sent me a testimony. If I have them, I will read it. She said this. She said, Pastor, since when I was young, one spirit will come and have sex with me. I will push and push and push. He said, I can't do anything. He will have sex with me and go away. He said, since I joined the prayers and I listened to your teaching, it came last night. He said, for the first time, I confronted it and rejected it and it fled. He said, Pastor, I believe that's why I've not been married and I know my deliverance has come. There's a lady that, there's a lady that is very close to us even to today. This lady, she, you know, she's a very good girl from a good home. You know, and you know, I just noticed she used to get drunk. Really, really drunk. Every time she's going to sleep, she'll drink. But like this girl is not like a nasty girl. Why do you drink just as she drinks only at night when she's going to sleep? And I said, what's the problem? As I was ministry one day, I just said, there's someone here. And I said that a certain power of being comes to sleep with you. And where are you? And she came forward and we ministered to her. And she said this. She said, for a long time, that spirit will come. That thing will come and mini- touch her. He said, when she wakes up, she will see signs that she has had sex. He said, when she's alert, she will try to fight it, but she cannot get through. He said, but guess what, pastor? After the prayer, the devil has not returned again. That lady is married right now. If I'm correct, she has two or three kids right now because the power was broken. Because the power was broken. There are two kinds of prayer points you're going to pray. What's the first prayer point? Uh, every influence of the devil, Kori every interest of demonic intruders, Jati Katolo Barahas, as regards your marriage, as regards your marriage, in the name of Jesus Christ, we stand upon the finished works of Christ Jesus and we command such influence and intrusion to be totally neutralized, to be totally paralyzed, their effect to be non and void. You are also going to pray for yourself this way. Every mentality that says I'm not attractive because that's what happens when the devil gets into people and says, who will marry you? You are not fine enough. Who will like you? This and this and this. Every mentality that is affecting, that is repelling people from you, that says you are not attractive such mentality by the power of the word of God. Let the revelation of God begin to sing such mentality. Let's go ahead and pray. Zeni haruate june ketala brakotona and Dokeina mashanda kaporone mato bregadosa roponto pronto porompoto rompoto e parada kataya every influence of the devil nikos tekaya either in repelling people either in destroying your marriage jeniko parota zemane ke parada e protu ki patu mana mano no e prokuto ne mashete e lakute joma katala magaba bakute katuke pakute bakute haksta 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 in Jesus' 
Then we pray. Ayakorobashata. E porunek tuli makataya. Everyone that is under a spell. Everyone that is under an oppression. Either it's spirit, husband, or whatever they want to target. That influence of the devil that is sleeping with you, that is hinging your marriage, that is causing heartbreak. In the name of Jesus Christ, if you will receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the last attack is the last one. Now you are set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Huramakate. Huramakate. Zalika Tasha Parwatakai. Nemota Libarade. Leko Barate Hashaka Poro Badesh. People that have unusual visitations in their dream. Men no so valuto radia kata. Ear no quote so tokone. La casco prakata ne mamumo. That influence of the devil. I break it off in the name of Jesus. Ha, shali guy. There are a lot of people that have been set free tonight. I'm telling you, today you have been set free. Hallelujah. I see a couple, and this is the lady. I see a couple, I see in the spirit. The lady. I see this couple, and the lady feels every time I'm having sex with my husband, it seems as if there's a thought pattern in the bedroom with us. And you don't know how to explain it, but you feel it. I stand in the full authority of Christ Jesus. I command that evil presence and attachment. Go in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. We're proceeding our prayer. And let me tell you something. We're proceeding our prayer. This is when the prayer gets really hot. I, I want to encourage you. Um, if you know some my couples are struggling, I want to release you. Go and get them to come. You know why? Some marriages have natural problems. Some have spiritual problems. There's no amount of talk or counseling that can solve spiritual marital problems. There's no amount. The reason why is that the region or dimension in which the problem exists cannot be resolved by mere talk. You've heard on social media, people are talking about special package. When your, under is, when your husband is under special package, listen to me, there's no amount of family talk or reporting to his friends that can change him. There's no amount of anger that can change him. The reason why is that he's under some kind of influence. If they say they have special package, we will tell them we have superior package. Hallelujah. If they say they have special package, we will tell them we have superior package. What does this mean? The Bible says at the name of Jesus, at he said, Every knee shake lopota. He said, Every knee shootane, shootane, shootane. He said, Every knee kulikati kupatana, a kute shokata, he can rute, he kupa, paloto, paloto, every knee shaba. Rabaha satane mokoye, leko shatane. I don't know what they've used to tie him down. I don't know what he has eaten. But by the power of the Holy Spirit, either he or she, she's been loose right now. She's been loose right now. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. And before we pray this prayer, if you can get on your phone and call all your friends, it's essential they join right now in the life prayer. Adorable. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Every marriage that is under spiritual tension, every marriage that is under problems because some some of due and ungodly influences. He that is natural influences. He that is witchcraft spirit. He does not matter. The name we have is the name above all. The Bible says when the enemy comes like a flood. He said it's when the enemy comes like a flood. The spirit of God raises standing against him. He said if they come in one way, they shall flee in seven ways. We are going to take full authority right now. We are going to take full authority right now. Rabba Shakata. All the single you are going to pray into your marriage. All of you that are single, you will pray into your future. All of you that married in a relationship, every demonic influence over your marriage. Begin to expel them. Begin to expel them. Every undue influence on your wife, every undue influence on your husband, begin to
to expel them. Every undue influence that's caused to delay. Baroshate Karia Baswa, Ida Parakoria Masati, Raika Tonda Latunima, Reina de Kejunima Mama 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 Toba, Bashake, 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 Lute Katayamana, Atore Mana. It doesn't matter where they've taken their names. So, they are brought up for there. Rikutekeya, 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 Rikutekeya. Ari ate suriata koria da sariata koria da za. Abroko tonmono, baluske balusa, baluske balusa. Polo tare shunena. E prete, e prete, e prete, e prete. Jeke de gere 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 gere. Atora ba 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 ba. I said as you are praying right now, the power of God is coming upon you. Jeke de gere 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 gere. Runi ke te poroto. Rabokotea, e bronde ke ima shadow ateska, e brutiza boro boro bosa. In Jesus, then we pray. Oh Ramaneha, we are finishing the prayer with two prayer points. Liko na hila hasateke, zihande le kone na, si na taria kaba, pari gadia takaria. Listen to me. The only language the opposition understands is resistance. Hallelujah. There are women that cry. See my life. See my marriage. The devil does not respond to tears. The more you cry, the more you make him happy. There are men that cry. See my life is over. Look at what's happening in my marriage. He does not respond to tears. What he responds is to power. The Bible says, resist the devil. He shall be what? He shall flee from you. In Jesus' mighty name. There's a there's a last prayer point. Romo Shegai na Maina Kaina Zaza. Maina Kaina Maso Pratila Gadoshe. Meno no Pratisa Pratili Gadoshe. What's the last prayer point? You are going to say it's two prayer points combining one. The Bible says, hmm. Bible says, and root found grace in the eyes of Boaz. As a married man, Lord, grant me grace before my wife. As a married woman, Lord, grant me grace. You will put your two hands upon your head. Yet to shape higher. You are going to press a single person. Lord, grant me grace before my partner, before my future husband, before his family. Ah, anyone that wants to be an intruder to destroy, to destroy, to separate us. Leto shatalamada. All of Bible says, by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail. Such effort will declare it comes to nothing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready to pray? Lord, grant me grace. Every man that is struggling with his wife, ask that. And Lord, grant me favor with my wife. Every woman that struggle with the husband, Lord, grant me favor with my husband. Every single struggling, Lord, grant me favor with my boyfriend, my girl, with my fiance. Grant me favor with the family. Every intruder, their voice is silent. Kaitwa, Shagia, Elia, Toria, Sabwa, Keria, Senia, Palia, Soria, Palia, Koria, Mania, Suria, Poria, Keria, Shunda, Hikia, Patia, Siketolo Robade. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what we're going to do right now? I want you to see as we pray the final prayer. I want you to sit in your spirit. My marriage is settled. And listen to me. As we pray this prayer, this is, this is the time for everyone to stay connected. You know why? Something powerful is happening right now. What is happening? As we pray, some of you, the problem is hurt. That's why marriage is not working. And you're so hurt, you can't move on from it. God is healing the hurts. Some of you, you were raised with emotional baggage you are depressed you don't like yourself you don't even love yourself if you don't love yourself you can't love somebody else but the bible says the spirit of god is upon me he has anointed me to minister to the brokenhearted as we pray right now this is what i want to do as we pray i'm going to ask them to we're going to sing this worship song together as they sing this worship song together what's going to happen you're going to lift up your hands towards heaven lift it up like this lift it like a funnel you want to receive something like this 
and see in the spirit. Let your eyes capture it. The spirit of God releasing new oil into your relationship, into your hurt, into your pain, and receive new beginning. See that your husband so doing well. See the things that used to cause fight being over. See that used to cause stress being over. Glory to God. All the single people see how he kneels down and propose to you and where's the ring of your finger. And as you begin to see that, begin to say, thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands like a funnel this way. Like a funnel this way. Yes. Oh, yes. All my fear is This I know. No. My future. my future singles let the fear that you never marry disappear and right now go to your future ba -ba 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 -ba. no matter the amount of break heart, heart, heartbreak you've gone through all the married people the fact that you will not be treated right let that fear go let that fear go let that fear go I rebuke it my sate. receive the ministry of the spirit of God anywhere you are go ahead and receive it all my fears are gone. Because he is gonna be alright now. Because he is gonna be alright now. Because he is gonna be alright now. Because he is gonna because my Savior lives, sickness can't stay here. Because He lives, because He lives, everything has to change. Everything has to change. Because He lives, all my fears are gone. He's touching your marriage right now. He's touching your future partner right now. Ragadesi alokonde mi mata. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Worship, and we thank you, Jesus, mighty name we pray. All over this room, Jesus, raise your voice and declare it. Because He lives, 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 See the guy who went down on the phone. See the man who's got your husband holding hands on the beach, laughing and rejoicing and all the hair of God. See the influence of Alfred that's on the time of your marriage. See you having the mind of the dream. Hallelujah. See you having it. See you having the mind of the dream. See you having the mind of the dream. Put your hands on the phone and receive today from the Father. Manene Mereto Sopaye. I see a lady that is just constantly in the fear of abuse. You see that your, the reason why you can't release yourself is because you feel like people will mistreat you. And God is saying, no, 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 no. Release your fears. I command the fear to go. Begin to love the right way. I, I see a lady that's been single for a long time. And you're broken down, been angry. And right now, God is touching you and touching you right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And Father, I declare over everyone that is single today. And this is the word. The delay is broken over your life. I declare over everyone that is married, your dream, your marital dream has begun to manifest. Your marital dream has begun to manifest. From today, listen, in 24 hours, you start seeing manifestations. Ha, ha, ha. You will start seeing manifestations in the name of Jesus Christ. I have a word. There are certain people that live in certain places where it's like, the guys there, you know, it could be outside the country, it could be in the country, but the guys who surrendered with are not the guys that you want because you feel as if these are not the dreams I have. And God actually told you, are you afraid that if I'm here, how will I get married? And God says, if I have to import someone from somewhere else just to make you happy and fulfilled, I will do it. God says, I love you that much. I love you that much. Don't let your fear be based on anything. Believe the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. A powerful prayer session today. Please remember, there's no prayer tomorrow. There's prayer on Monday. 
Monday, and you want to follow my Telegram group, there's a Telegram prayer group I have. Go on it and sign up to be there. If your friend missed it, tag your friends. Tag your friends. Tag your friends. Let them know that they missed something. Let them do the rewatch. They can rewatch on YouTube, on Facebook, on MixLR. Glory to God. We're going to take an offering today. I told you earlier, every Wednesday and Friday, Every Wednesday and Friday, we every Wednesday and Friday we have our offering. We have our offering moment. And what do we give as a Thanksgiving offering? Listen, we've prayed so much. The reason why we give the offering is very simple. And the offering details will be displayed on the screen. Either whatever you're watching from, you will have the offering displayed on the screen. The reason is so simple. If I believe that God has sorted out my my, my finances, my being single, my marriage, you know, can't I just give him an offering? It's a Thanksgiving offering. It's, and a lot of you have reached out to me, especially a lot of you that are outside the country, outside Nigeria or Africa, and said, I want to give, but the accounts are local. If you go to the website, which is Harvest's NG, and click on the giving session, it can accept your debit or credit card from anywhere you are in the world. So you can send the seed and go ahead and do that. If you go to the website, Harvesters, if you go to the website, Harvesters International Christian Center, and do that, it can send that right now. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise and glory today. We honor and praise your holy name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Um, okay, I, I think the account should be a different one, not Titan offerings. You know, you might want to look at that again. In Jesus' name, we pray. If you have need for prayers, you know, you can also take it from now. You can go ahead and sow that seed right now. Father, we give you praise. It's done. Remember, the delay is broken. Your marital dream has begun to manifest. From next week, we have five days of interventions. Monday to Friday, five days of intervention. Five days of intervention. I love you. And please have a fantastic weekend. God bless you. On Sunday, I'm preaching a very powerful prayer. Why prayers are it answered? Why prayers are it answered? I want to connect to it. And you can go back and watch what I prayed about the result-oriented prayer. It's all on YouTube at Harvesters TV. God bless you. Have a great day.